Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today I'm playing with these, the Akimbo Rangers, on Vacant. Now, in this video there's going to be two huge fuck-ups involving grenades, and this is one of them. Right at the start, I tried to get the spot where you throw it right down the hallway, doesn't happen. Well, it didn't happen for me anyway. Here, I'm using the, the same class setup I was using for the previous Domination game, which was on shipment, so that's the reason I've got martyrdom and three times frag on. Otherwise I'll be using steady aim and bandolier. But these things have got the best fire rate and the best uh, close range damage in the game. They, are just, they just instantly melt anything. If you are near anyone close range and you're holding these, you win the gunfight as, as easy as that. And I do... I think a double kill there. I do really well in this game with these things. I haven't used them in about a year and a half. I just thought, fuck it, they're the mean, the mean weapon as this guy used it the last time. Airstrikes always seem to kill me, but I seem to never get a kill with them. So let's see how I do here. Nothing. Oh, there's one, one kill. And then, of course, as is tradition, I die one off the helicopter. So I'm going to abuse these three times frags as much as I can because I can't change. It's not like uh, Cold War where I can change mid game, so I've got to keep it on. I never really go outside because these things. Oh. Double kill. There we go. These things don't have the best range. Maybe it's like a couple of meters, maybe a bit more. But look at that, just one burst them around the corner. These things have got the highest damage. It's not even close. For one shot potential. Second airstrike of the game. See if I can get anything this time. They always come in from the wrong angle as well. That's my dog so crazy. And here's a little guy here. I could have shot him there, but I decided to try and finesse the grenade. That isn't the second time I fucked up with the grenade. That's still too dumb. Pick up another helicopter here. Another double kill. These things are good for double kills, not so much for triple kills. Because you've got two... Look at this. Look at that guy camping in the corner. I'm going to go straight back for him after I try and kill this guy. Thing is, you've got two shots in each gun before you need to reload. And another camper right here. But the martyrdom gets them, so I actually get rewarded for not changing my class after that domination game. You get two shots in each gun before you need to... Uh, it's still there, I can't believe it. Before you need to uh, reload. So, I was like, well... You can either shoot twice with one gun and then twice with the other. You don't have to shoot them at the same time. But I find it's always best just to shoot both at the same time. Just to guarantee the kill. Especially with the hip fire spread without uh, steady aim. So I'm up to six kills now. Just need one more for another helicopter. And I see a guy around here. Deleted. These things delete people. They are that good. And I just couldn't see him laying on the floor there, end of the shite. Couldn't see him. But I got my got my second helicopter, that's in the back pocket, ready to go. As soon as this one finishes. Now I know where he is. Because when people camp they they don't move. I see him there. Stun him. Took a grenade, he's dead. When people camp, they don't seem to mix it up. They seem to stay in the same spot. And if you're going to camp, you've kind of got to move around. Otherwise people are just going to learn where you are and just fuck you on the next time. So I call the chopper. And we're getting close to the point where I fuck up the second grenade throw of the game. And look at the UAV. A little red dot in the corner. What the fuck is this guy doing? He's deleted. Double kill! Another double kill. I see that red dot there. Gonna try and go around the outside. UAV recon 
Uh, is he back to the corner? Yes, he is. Why do people do this? Our UAV is online. So right now I'm on a four kill streak. Already thinking about if that helicopter can already be my next helicopter. I see there's a guy just out of sight here. See him on the mini map. Just put a grade through there. Lots of space. Stuck in the box. Dead. So that's the second time I killed myself with grenades. There's no way that should not have fit through that little gap. I feel robbed of another helicopter. So I'm like, they're all just camping in here. Let's see if I can get lucky. Maybe catch a couple around. Got one, the other one's still hiding behind the box. So I've got it into my head that I've got to go and kill this guy now. Cook this grenade. And... I did get him, or I got yeah, the guy who killed me with Martin him actually. So we've got four kills left in the game. Trying to predict where they're going to be coming from. They kind of spawn in on both sides here. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm just going to run right, right through here. Three kills left. I'll melee this guy so I don't alert his friend up here. One kill left in the game and... Robbed. Pretty good game. I love it. I love the inspect feature in this game as well. It's just one button. You don't have to go into some stupid menu like in the previous two cards. But yeah, these are the Rangers. I went 34 and 10. Killed myself two of those 10 times. Highly advise using these guns on these close quarters maps. Do not use this on strike or pipeline or anything stupid like that. Has to be one of these close quarters maps. But yeah, I'm going to be putting up a video of me trying to have a good game with each gun. So starting off with the Rangers here and uh, I'll see what I come up with next time. Subscribe if you like the video and I'll catch you on the next one.